here with the pound for pound king and the biggest star in boxing canelo alvarez you're just a couple of days away now from your fight with caleb plant how big is it is it for you to be on the brink of history it's it's, it's big it's big for my legacy for my career uh we're working for for these 16 years so uh means a lot for my legacy uh, very few fighters in boxing in the boxing in history of boxing accomplish uh, this so uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here you know and I'm, I'm assuming you know these are the kind of credentials that really are going to matter when people are talking about your all-time legacy um how important is that to you too it's important because that's what i'm looking for right making history and be in the books of the history of boxing you, know, you said um, you said recently that you've never had this much bad blow with an, with an opponent. So though you have more bad blow with Caleb Plant than even Triple G. Yeah, this is a little more personal for what happened in in, in LA. So maybe in that way. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm gonna uh, go in the ring and do my job like always. Yeah, and look, we all know that you train hard no matter what. Mm -hmm. But is there a little extra when you don't like someone? Yeah, always extra. I always put my extra in the gym. <laughs> so what happens in the ring, man? Do you try to punish him a little more before mm -hmm. you finish him? Mm -hmm. I, I always try to hurt them more. Um, speaking of, you know, obviously this is going to be undisputed at 168. You said that was your goal for a long time. After this fight, do you plan on trying to defend that 168-pound title or maybe we take on a new challenge? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We 100% we focus on this fight, and then we'll see. We'll see what Eddie uh, looking for. Um, you know, you also said recently that you might be open now to a third fight with Triple G at some point. Do you think that's something that you think will happen? I, I say that because... Uh, you guys asking me, so I always available to fight the best fights out there, right? That's why I, I say, but I don't say for my, I, I, I do, uh, I doing best things like this, you know, being on the spirit fighter is no, is not easy, not easy. So, but are you asking me? So why not? I'm always ready for anybody. Yeah, look, and you made a great point. You said since you're a fight with Triple G in September of 18, that you've been fighting big fights and he hasn't been. That, that, that is true. It is. But uh, on the same point, we just saw a big third fight between Wilder and Fury, and it just feels like there's unfinished business still. I think that's why people ask. Maybe. It's, Maybe. I would love to fight. Why, why not? I mean, I'm assuming, too, that it would be nice, you know, I, I'm assuming it has to be at 68, but also to get a knockout and yeah, finish. Yeah, if, 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 if he's open to come up on 168, I'm, I'm ready, always. Uh, what makes this fight with Caleb Plant maybe bigger than some of the other fights you've had recently? Because, you know, the, the como se dice, la magnitude. <laughs> the magnitude of the, of the fight, being the spirit is, is, is big. Do, do you feel like that press conference with the scuffle you had made the fight even bigger? Mm, I don't know, you tell me. I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, you, you maybe because the you guys or the fans like that kind of things, right? You know, like crazy things. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of crazy things, yeah. you know, we've seen that a lot of the biggest stars in boxing going back a hundred years, right, are always the the guys who talk the biggest trash. I mean, we have Floyd Mayweather, of course, and Mike Tyson. You were always kind of a reserved guy, but we've seen it coming out of you more and yeah. more now. But why yeah. now? Because in some point you need to you need to do something, right? I I have uh, I say I always say for every action is a reaction. So and I'm I'm so my blood is hot always. <laughs> does it feel like your star is growing more and more now? Because to me it does. Okay, thank you. That's what I that's what I like to hear. I don't I don't want to say that because I don't know. You tell me. I mean, I, 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 person, I think the casual sports fan, they're drawn to, you know, the, the bombastic personalities, the showmanship that you showed at the press conference when Andre tried to butt in and also with, uh, with Caleb Plant. I mean, he kind of came out with a, with a cut. Do you think that cut's going to reopen? Uh, not really. Uh, he have a, it's a little scratch. I don't, I don't really be 
see a problem with it. Um, I know you're focused on Caleb Plant, obviously, right now, but PBC, you're working with them for this fight. Obviously, they have David Benavidez, Jamal Charlo. Is there one fight that you see out there that you think is a, is a really good one besides Plant? All the good fights. That's why I'm free agent, because I'm, I'm gonna do, I want to do the best fight out there. So we'll see after um, this. And, and now that you have this flexibility as a free agent, how many times do you want to fight next year? For me, for... Four fights again is fine. Three, four, around that. Um, you know, as the biggest star in the sport, do you feel responsibility to maybe set an example for the younger guys and say, "All right, this is the way to do it." This yeah, is maybe. For some reason, you you turn uh, example for the for the kids, right? For what you do, but uh, I always do my my things and I always do my best, and maybe that's that's enough. Right, last question. Do you think that maybe Eddie Reynoso, I know he was trainer of the year last year, but still, do people not give him the amount of credit he deserves? Yeah, before. But now everybody knows Eddie is the best trainer out there. All right. Well, finally, what's your prediction? I'm going to win by knockout or decision. I don't know, but I love, I, I love, I, I would love to knock out him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.